Got a bad case of the buffering blues? We have the cure. Hey, I'm Melissa and welcome to Staples Tech TV. Your home network is a whole lot busier than it used to be. Streaming videos, online gaming, and connected devices like smartphones and tablets are everywhere. And with services like Netflix, Xbox Live, and YouTube, you're putting a lot of traffic on your network. And if you've ever seen everything, just stop. That means you're buffering. And it's annoying, but there's good news. We've got the fix for you today. Here are four top tips to beat buffering on your home network. Number one, dodge interference with the dual band router. You want your home network to be able to handle the traffic you're gonna throw at it. So choose a device with dual band technology, like this D-Link DIR827 HD media router and the Linksys E4200. The cool thing about a dual band router is that it allows you to separate your internal networks into two different bands, each supporting their own devices. You can use the 5 GHz band for streaming devices like game systems and media streamers, and the 5 GHz band is usually free from interference, which helps you to eliminate that pesky buffering. For other gear like your laptop or smartphone, stick to the 2.4 GHz band where network access can be shared for lower impact stuff like checking your email, surfing the web, or chatting online. Okay, moving right along, number two, prioritize your application with QoS. QoS, or quality of service, acts as a traffic cop on your network, watches over the traffic coming in and going out, and gives each application the bandwidth needed. That means that gaming or streaming can take number one priority on your network, making slowdowns a thing of the past. Setting up QoS on the D-Link media router and the Linksys E4200 is a piece of cake. If I can do it, you can do it. It only takes a few clicks on the settings page to make a serious difference. Moving on to number three, if your router is on one end of the house and you're on the other, you've probably had your fair share of network dropouts and slowdowns. Putting an end to them though is easy with a range extender, like one of these guys, the D-Link DAP1360 or the Linksys RE1000. A wireless range extender increases the reach of your Wi-Fi networking, getting through obstacles and enhancing your overall network signal quality. There are several different types of range extenders available at Staples. Sometimes you'll see them called range expanders and other times you'll see them called signal boosters. They essentially work by acting as a relay or network repeater, picking up and reflecting Wi-Fi signals from the network's base router or access point. If you're going to invest in a range extender, I strongly recommend sticking to the same manufacturer as your router. Just makes it that much easier. And number four, if wireless it just will not do it, you've tried the router, you've tried the range expander, consider Powerline, like one of these. For most people, Wi-Fi is a convenient, reliable option for streaming and gaming, but there are certainly places where it just will not work, like a house with multiple floors. So if Wi-Fi isn't cutting it for you, you can expand your network with a Powerline solution like the Linksys PLSK400 and the D-Link AV Wireless and Extender. Powerline solutions create an internet connection in your home anywhere that you have an existing electrical outlet. Plug one adapter in the wall near your router and the other adapter anywhere in your home and you've instantly created an extension of your existing network. Your game console can then be plugged in via Ethernet to take advantage of speeds of up to 200 megabits per second. Trust me, with speeds like that, buffering on your device or lagging on your console will be a thing of the past. So there you have it, four great easy tips to beat buffering problems for streaming video or online gaming. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching Staples Tech TV. See you next time.